It is time for bring in Mike Kazi. Good morning, Mike. Good morning. It's funny. Yesterday, uh, when you were getting, when you texted me, I was I was trying to text you. Uh, we didn't have Mike on yesterday, and uh, I I uh, when I got on the air, I said our phone system went down for about twenty minutes yesterday morning, Mike. Oh. <laughs> and so I had no idea that you couldn't get a hold. of I us. wouldn't be able to get in anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so I couldn't get a hold of you. So, so it worked out all right. <laughs> all right. Those things happen. You know, what what can you do? All right, let's go to game one of the World Series. What about it? Didn't watch one second of it. Didn't. Had too much schoolwork to do. Wow. Yep. Well, the Dodgers. I'm not really interested in it. Yeah, Dodgers uh, won eight to three. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, these things happen, you know. I was Didn't watch it. You know, Priorities. I need a job more than watching the World Series. Well, I had to. Uh, uh, what I had to do uh, is, uh, I was still mad at Tampa Bay um, because Man, why, why are you mad at Tampa Bay? Because if Tampa Bay would have lost that last game to Houston, uh, it would have uh, taken the Yankees off the hook as the only team to blow a three nothing game lead. Well, I thought <laughs> the Yankees deserved that. I so, saw. So I was really upset at Tampa Bay. Uh, but uh, what the heck, what can you do? Uh, like I said, I didn't watch yesterday's game, but Tampa Bay against Houston, every, everything that could go Tampa's way against Houston did. Um, making plays, rocket ship, you know, balls turned into double plays and whatnot. Um, like I said, I didn't watch for that, but the, the Dodgers scored, I see, eight runs in three innings. Um, you know, maybe that um, pitcher by roulette wheel, finally caught up to uh, Tampa Bay. I, I, like I said, I didn't watch it. I don't know. All I'm doing is looking at the box score. But um, it, it appears, you know, w- when you play that kind of a game, you know, sooner or later it, it might come back and bite you. And it, it looks like it did last night for Tampa Bay. All right. Uh, speaking about bite you, uh, uh, there's, uh, there's the NFC East where the, the leading team in the division is 2-4. Uh, and four. And uh, the Giants are one in five, one game out of first place. Of course, uh, the Dallas Cowboys now. Uh, if you if you if you look at uh, at, at news stories out of Dallas, um, there's three stories. Uh, of course, Ezekiel Elliott uh, took ownership. He did. He had those two horrible fumbles. But now there's players that are mad at the coaches. They are totally unprepared and aren't good at their jobs. And guess whose name has been thrown in the ring for a possible quarterback for the Cowboys? Capper stink. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so we'll see. It's, it's, you know, they need more than uh, they need more than uh, than just a quarterback. You know. Well, you, you know how I feel about the NFL, but yeah. there's two things I'd like to have happen this year. First is Tom Brady to win the Super Bowl, and if not Tom Brady, whatever team comes out of the NFC East, I hope wins the Super Bowl. <laughs> this could be the first year that a six and Ten or five and eleven club makes the playoffs. How great would it be if they win the Super Bowl too? Well, it was like the year the Giants uh, were nine and seven and won the Super Bowl both years. And I hope it's Washington because they won't even be able to call the team by a name. That's right. They'd say Washington, Washington. Who's Washington? Is that the name of the quarterback? The Washington Football Club. There you go. And that even could be a soccer club. It could be anything. Yeah, a Washington. It could, it could be a motorcycle gang. Well, anyway, so uh, other than that, um, not much else. Uh, my Giants are going to face Philadelphia in the Thursday night game. That's a game that's going to get stinking ratings. Wow. Oh, my gosh. I know. <laughs> that's really this. <laughs> Listen to this. The NFC East, total wins for the division. Total wins for the division, eight. And they've played, what, um, six games? Yeah. So that's thirty, probably thirty-six games, unless there was a buy. That's Eight pretty wins. good. He wins. Just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Oh boy. Yeah, it's a, it's 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 a well. We we just leave it at that. Anyways. It's terrible. Uh, I yeah. mean, it's it, it, hockey's looking better and better every day, isn't it? Well, I, I, I'll, I'll I'll be honest with you. Uh, NBA is looking better every day too, uh, because college football is all is all screwed up too. I mean. Uh, it's just, uh, it's just. A, Hockey it's, went through their most of their season this year. They went through their play-ins to get into the playoffs. 
Then the playoffs started and went off without a hitch. It was an entire playoff system, and it all, like I said, went through with no problems, and they ended the season with a Stanley Cup. Can any other, t- can any other league say anything like that? No games canceled because of anything. No issues, no nothing. Nobody sneaking a cheerleader into the room. None of that stuff. Hockey's looking better every day. All right. No other sport can say that. Now, here's here's a story that'll that'll, that'll get you going. And uh, huh. uh, one of the uh, San Diego Padres' top prospects uh, was arrested uh, for marijuana. So you say, okay, yeah. So he's got you know he's got marijuana. He's got seventy nine grams <laughs> of marijuana. Now. Even in places where marijuana is legal to buy, if you have that much marijuana on you and you're caught with it, what's that equate to into American weight? Uh, it, would, it would it would it would it would equate into uh, seventy nine uh, cigarettes. It, let me put it: so it's enough to get you a charge for being a dealer in most states. Uh, most states, even with legal marijuana, you can have uh, you know one or two grand. You know you can have a joint or two. They can find it, and you're not. But he, gonna... can, be, he can be charged with intent to distribute. Yeah, is he? Uh, I don't know whether they are. Well, it's or in not. California, so he might become mayor of a city. <laughs> and uh, Jim Harburg has not signed an extension at Michigan. He might be back in the NFL next year. Who knows? Um, he might be on TV next year. You know that's true too. That's true too. Never Why would thought. you? First of all, it, it, when you, when you're in college, where you 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 more or less dictate what's happening, how can you go back to the NFL where you have no power over your no control over your team whatsoever? They dictate what's happening. So I, I really don't see him going back to the NFL. I really think he might have a TV deal somewhere. Everybody gets a TV deal, so why not him? All right, and uh, the Mets are now allowed to sell the club to Steve Cohen. It's been it was approved by the league. I don't know Some why screw is going to happen. There. I don't, but I don't know why you have to get approval to sell your club. I'm sorry, it's a. Uh, well, they want to make sure that they're not selling it to a terrorist organization, probably. But the Mets are a terrorist organization. <laughs> no, nah, that's the other team in New York. <laughs> I, you know, I guess they gotta they gotta do a background check, make sure that the guy is is viable, that he's liquid, he can make payment, he can do whatever he has to do. Well, I mean, well, then why don't they do that with the players? Why? Yeah. Players union. End of story. That's why. Okay. They 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 could be running a drug cartel of players for all they care, but the players union you can't you can't look at the players. Get ready for it. That might be the way the whole country's run. That's it. The union of the players will not allow you to do that. Can't do any of that. All right. And I'm sure the players' union is going to bat for that clown in San Diego, whoever he is, too, saying uh, he he was a victim. (laughs) (laughs) He only got caught with 79 grams because the guy he was selling it to didn't show up. Now, if he if you know, if he if if it was all for himself, uh, I guess, but but uh, that's uh, yeah. well, if it was all for himself. He has a serious issue. <laughs> that's right. That's a different issue. That's right. Okay. Well, any, anything else in sports? I guess not, huh? No, no. And when baseball's over, oh, there's nothing going on because usually this time of year is when basketball and hockey usually start. That's not happening. Gonna be so, strange. It's gonna be strange. There'll be no, there'll be no sports going on, and after the Breeders' Cup, which is in two weeks, the uh, the horse racing will calm down a lot. So there'll really be nothing going on. Well, we can change it to uh, 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 Mike Kazi at large on knitting. <laughs> I could teach algebra. Algebra. Oh, oh God, I hate algebra. I was Mike. I was in school. I got eighties and nineties. Okay. That's all right. In every subject except algebra. I had to take algebra two years to pass it. The kind of teacher you had, that's what it no, is. No, I had a great teacher. I just didn't. I fought. Well, he didn't let you, or she didn't let you be exposed to how it works. Yeah, I just had so much trouble with algebra. And then geometry I was better on, okay? I was yeah, better there's no on math geometry. in geometry, really. But, it's but, all concepts. Yeah, well, that's probably why I was better in it, because I'm... That's what I deal with in my whole life concepts. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, well, we'll do the concept of having sports tomorrow morning and see what's going on.
Yeah, I should have less work tonight. I'll probably watch a few innings of that debacle called the World Series. All right, and then we'll How talk. many errors were made last night? I wonder. I didn't. I didn't watch it. I. I just. I just. I just didn't watch it. And I'd never make the end of it. Yeah. I mean, because I. I got to be up early, and yeah. you know, kind of like you. Yeah. And these games go on forever. I'm sure. You know, so. people always say to me when the Giants play at night, "Well, how come? How come? How come you can't stay up for them?" Because my job is more important than watching the Giants lose. <laughs> That's right. That's just like yesterday. My job, my job was more important than watching Tampa I, Bay, Tampa Bay play uh, the Los Angeles Fakers yesterday. You know, I love, I love the Giants. They're my favorite team of any of the teams that I root for. But I still love my, I love what I do on the air more. <laughs> yeah, they had eleven thousand people at the game yesterday, and uh, the game time was three hours and twenty four minutes. So you figure they started around eight thirty. So the game was over around midnight. Yeah, it's just nah, I ain't staying up for that. Yeah, it's too late. It's just too late. It's crazy. Yep. All right, Mike. I'll check with you manana. Have a great day, guys. Take care. Mike Cosi with a check on sports this morning here on Robin Hood Radio.